All right, let's talk Nebraska football here for a little bit. Obviously, we talked about Nebraska a lot this offseason. They nailed it in the hiring of Matt Rule. It seemed like that at the time, and it continued with a lot of stories of what they did after the hiring and everything Rule has done. But there was a new story that has come out recently that just sort of elevates what Rule is doing in Nebraska, and that they could be much even further along the rebuild than a lot of us even thought they were going to be at this point. But before we get into that, Huskers fans, we want to hear from you guys in the comments section below. Look, obviously, Matt Rule has done a pretty impressive job so far. Games haven't been played yet. We'll see how it works on Saturdays. But you have to admit, it has been successful. Give us, obviously, there's been a lot of bad coaches recently, low in Nebraska history. But give me your favorite Nebraska coach of all time. And look, there's obviously a big name lurking around that you could bring up. You can go the easy route there with the Hall of Fame guy. But give me maybe another guy. Just show me just a guy that you thought maybe was a little bit underrated as a Nebraska coach. But all right, getting to the news of the day when it comes to Nebraska. Like I talked about, Matt Rule has done a lot of really good things for the program. He's done well in the recruiting game. He's been focusing on Nebraska in the Midwest and has done a heck of a job there. But there's a new report coming out involving not just a top prospect, not just a top quarterback prospect, but the top quarterback prospect, the top overall prospect in 2024. And I'm talking, of course, about Dylan Riola, the Arizona, the Phoenix product out of Arizona, who is the number one overall prospect, according to 24-7 Sports, for the 2024 class. He's obviously an elite-level quarterback, and there was a report coming out showing that he is extremely interested in Nebraska, coming to Nebraska play for Matt Rule. And this was all, these different reports were uh, compiled according to the spun. Andrew Gold did a pretty good job here. I'm just going to go through the report. Uh, per 24-7 Sports, the Phoenix quarterback is the number one prospect in the class of 2024. Talking about Raiola, of course. On threes, Chad Simmons recently reported that Raiola canceled a visit to Georgia. Two-time National Championship Georgia. He canceled that visit. But he's still planning to visit another school next month. Simmons said Raiola plans to visit Nebraska on March 25th on the 24-7 Sports football recruiting podcast, Cooper Pet. Pet- Patagonia, however you say his name, discussed how landing the five-year recruit would alter the school's reputation. Uh, Patagonia said, if, quote, if Nebraska can find a way to secure Dylan Raiola, it completely changes the national perception of the program. This could be a huge boost for Nebraska, not only on the field, but just in terms of being able to gener- just being just in terms of being able to generate buzz and get back in that mainstream news cycle. I don't know if there's a better place for him to go and develop than Nebraska. This is absolutely ridiculously massive. We talked about Nebraska returning to relevance in terms of conference play and returning to bowl games and maybe getting back in New Year's Day bowl games, going back from, you know, going to winning seven, eight, nine games, uh, uh, you know, again, going double digit win seasons again, going to bigger bowl games, maybe going to a conference title game, maybe winning a Big Ten, maybe going to a Rose Bowl, something like that. We talk about that's where Matt Rule is looking forward long term. And that takes time. Winning over Nebraska, winning over the local area, focusing on the Midwest. He's done a heck of a job doing it so far, but that's going to take time. But. If you're getting number one overall prospects in the country, now look, he hasn't committed to Nebraska, he hasn't signed with Nebraska, a lot of things are going to happen. But the fact that the number one overall prospect in the country for 2024, and a quarterback, mind you, has declined a visit to Georgia and wants to go to Nebraska shows that Matt Rule is so far ahead of schedule than even I could, I, I could have never predicted this, right? I thought what he was doing, I thought it was going to take a few years to build up just a Nebraska base. We talked about, a, a, we did a report from The Athletic a few weeks ago talking about what he's done to win back Nebraska. He's done an outstanding job. But if he can bring Nebraska back as a national power this quickly, Obviously, going after the recruiting game. If you get these recruits, right, recruiting begets um, better and better recruiting. I talk about it all the time on the show. If he can continue to bring in big name recruits, even if it's just for visits, because right, think about it this way: if Raiola, five star, number one overall quarterback, number one overall prospect, wants to visit Nebraska, a lot of other top four, five star guys are going to want to as well, right? It's kind of a place to be. There's energy, there's buzz, there's momentum. You know, and once you skip that going on a program, it, you, you can really go really fast, right? Look what Alabama, that's a great example under Nick Saban. They were nothing. They were, you know, six and seven, six and six. They were really struggling. A lot of volatility in the program. Alabama's glory days were behind them forever. Nick Saban comes to town, starts recruiting well again, and they take off and they've been a force ever since, right? That's how fast it can turn. Unfortunately, it can turn the other way too, as Nebraska fans, I'm sure, will remind me. But the fact that Rule is coming out here and not just dominating locally, I'm just blown away. I'm surprised how well he's done in the Nebraska Midwest region but the fact he's able to get a guy like Raiola a recruit of his caliber to you know who cancels Georgia and wants to come and visit Nebraska this is unbelievably massive for the program going forward whether he ends up committing or signing to Nebraska in the long term or not this is just another proof that Matt Rule was the perfect hire and he's just so far ahead of schedule and don't be surprised I don't know how 2023 is going to go obviously first year 2024 a little bit more growth but by 2025 2026 the way things are going through I'm expecting Nebraska to be a national power yet again <laughs>